Nigeria may experience terrorists in the government, like Afghanistan. Shil Sani, welcome to the news. The former Kaduna State Senator Shil Sani have warned that terrorists will take over the seat of power in Nigeria as Taliban forces installed themselves in Afghanistan. The former senator expressed his worry on his Twitter page on Tuesday, stating that bandits now collect valued added tax from farmers in the north, in the northwest states of the country. He also said the dead bandits were imposing their imams and local chiefs in communities, which obviously had not been prepared by the Nigerian government. Sahara reporters had recently reported how farmers lamented how bandits took over the affairs of their lives and they paid at least 1.7 million naira annually to them as the president, Muhammad Buhari's regime, looked helpless. Our people have stopped going to their farmland for fear of being kidnapped or killed. Kidnapping has become a common phenomenon in, the, in this area. Bandits are now the ones who decide whether we grow to farms or not. In some areas, even farmers plant crops they cannot cultivate due to insecurity, a source had told Sahara reporters. In a tweet yesterday, Sunny said, with bandits now collecting vats and installing their imams and local chiefs, we are literally heading to Kabul. Early September this year, a few days after the United States military withdrew from Afghanistan, the Taliban took control of major cities and installed themselves in the presidential palace in Kabul. This happened 20 years after the U.S.-led Halid forces went into Afghanistan and tripped the Taliban's headline Islamic region to avenge the September 11 terrorist attack. The primary aim of the U.S. invention was to hurt down Osama bin Laden and punish the Taliban for providing safe haven to them. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted. I have no long, I have long denounced Nigeria as my country and I have prayed to God to forgive me for answering his slave name. He said, Amen. Oh my God. That is why we need to break up. The problem why terrorists cannot easily take over Nigeria is because of southern Nigeria and mostly the east. The Igbos don't wait for order from their leaders before they start to fight. The major strength of Igbo is that 98% of Igbos practice one religion and can never be divided. We shall settle the not with terrorists. Let them enjoy the fruits of evil labor. That is a prophecy for the not. Niger data exclusive. More of that we pray. We pray it before Zoonology Republic of Nigeria. It's a uh, Nigeria is already worse than Afghanistan. There are, there are no weeks without single death in Afghanistan. But Nigeria is daily killings and kidnappings in the north. Honestly, he, he, he just said it all. And uh, that is the truth. It's really very, very unfortunate that those who, who we say that they are the head, who, who are leading Nigeria, can I say, is it, is, it, is it that they are just wicked or they have lost focus? They don't know what is going on. They don't know what is happening. I don't know why they have decided to be treating bandits with this kind of kid clothes. This is really very unfair. You see them flexing their mouths when you talk about Southeast uh, region, the, the Southwest and thereabout. But anything about the North, you know, they pamper them. You see the reason why people are agitating. People are saying there are injustice every year, every everywhere in this country. And it's really showing everywhere. It's all written on the wall. Bandits have gotten their own government in Burundi State. They have their traditional leaders. They have their council chairman. In fact, they have their 
own government to the extent that they reopened the market that was closed by a sitting governor in Borono State. <laughs> this is just the height of it. So in Borono, they have two governments, the bandits government and the Nigerian government. But people tend to listen to the bandits because they are afraid of their lives. If you don't listen, they will kill you. If you are waiting for Nigerian government to come and help you on your own. So these people, they are gradually taking over the country. But it seems that the leaders, they are not aware. These people, they are smarter than them. Unless there is something they are hiding from Nigerians, which we don't know. But the way Nigerian government is treating bandits and uh, the way they are going about the, the insecurity issue is really very, very unfair. Yesterday, bandit was going to house to house in Castina State, killing people. We are talking about President Muhammad Buhari's home state. It's one of the bandits then. They will go to your house, they will knock at your door, bring you out, kill you, steal your valuables. This is what is happening. We can't even... We can't even give account of people who dies every day. Now, there is no longer telecommunication in those areas. They, 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 they banned, okay, well, how do I put it, telecommunication in those areas to frustrate kidnapping and attacks by bandits and all that, and all that isn't working. But the band of telecommunication in those areas is even making it safer for them to operate. Honestly, this is getting out of hand. Guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. What's your take? Share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Bye for now.